hello ugandans hello everyone hello everyone on my channel welcome back to my channel yeah i'm esther and i'm a ugandan a proud ugandan <laughs> yeah so we are seeing all that is going on in our country we may not be around at the moment but we are seeing everything that is taking place in our country and it is such a disappointment that we know the results of what came out of the last yesterday's elections but it's such a shame we as ugandans we have to stand up and do something about it we need to stand up and do something if we don't do something and fight for the vote that we voted and the right person that we voted in chair we shall not do anything i think we need to do something as ugandans because we are fed up of this government nrm government we are tired of you we need to do something if we don't do something, then we voted for nothing. It has happened in 2016. It happened in 2006. These things have been happening. It has been going on, you know? Like, we, we go and vote as Ugandans, and at the end of the day, we are given results that we didn't vote for. Seriously, NRM government, what do you want from Ugandan people? Please take a break. Let the other guys come into government, the young generation, let it come into government. We have gone to school. But there are no jobs in Uganda. No jobs in Uganda. We travel countries working for people. Yet we have our motherland. Where we can work. He says he has given us an education. What is the use of me going to school? And at the end of the day, I don't go to I don't get a job that I studied for. Really? Something has to be done. And if when you go send money, you want to send money to your people home, they tell you your country has been blocked. Because people from the diaspora, people that are not in the country, they are sending me but money to the youth. That the youth are using, misusing the money to pass some information to the to 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 destroy the in in ongoing government. Really, people, we need to do something. We need to do something. Otherwise, we have prayed, we have voted, it has been going on for years. This guy has been in power for 30 years. For 30 damn years. Please, Mose, Museveni, Tukusawa, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Thank you. We know what is going on and we know what you did. You're scared of the young man. It is us, the people of Uganda, to stand. We need Bobby Wine. But we as Ugandans, if we don't stand for our rights, we don't stand for the vote that we voted, and we don't stand to know the truth. Because all those people are working for the government. The Electoral Commission, they are working for the government. The police people that are killing people every day, they are all working for the government. They are getting orders from, I hear orders from above. They are not above the law. And they're not above God, really. We as Ugandans, if it means getting up and walking on the streets of Kampala, we need to do that. The streets of Uganda, every district in Uganda. It is us, the Ugandans, that need to stand up. Because Chagulani needs us. If we don't do that, then there's nothing that is going to be done. We shall still remain in the same state that we are in. And if we don't do something as we Ugandans, then we don't stand a chance to, to, we don't have a voice. We as Ugandans, we need to stand up and do something. Because we need Chagulani to be our president. But if we voted for him and we don't do anything, we wait for the results for the electoral commission to give us the results and they're giving us fake results. Really? We as Ugandans, we are the ones to say enough is enough. And if we don't do that, then we, we don't deserve to be Ugandans. Look, it happened in Zambia. When this guy was in power for many years, people had to stand up and say enough is enough. And this is the time we have Uganda. We cannot allow Museven to go on as our president and yet he has done enough. A lot of corruption.